So who needs a nasal cannula? This would be a perfect patient for nasal cannula. So here is what we do and how we use this mnemonic. One, we use a mnemonic around the field to assess patients. But what about on exams and quizzes? On exams and quizzes, when you have a scenario, I want you to look at the rate, look at the SBO2, look at what it's saying about the patient condition, use the mnemonic, and then match that up with what to do next. Remember that question in the beginning of this? Yeah, huh? now you're gonna know what to do, okay? So RR, 22 is respiratory rate. Now these are all gonna be in adult patients. So 12 to 20 is normal, so we're a little high. Could this be 24? Sure, could be 24 too. SPO2, 92, okay? In that range, could it be 93, 92? Sure, okay? Words. Speaking in full senses, maybe some, some you see some mild, some mild symptoms, right? So we're talking about labor. I put zero, but maybe you're seeing some, some mild symptoms, but you're not seeing full on accessory muscle use. You're not seeing retractions. You're not tripoding. So this patient typically, let's say, is sitting on the sidewalk, sitting on the couch. Maybe they're even ambulatory. Maybe they're even like, you meet them and they're like, they're standing up, right? But when you go to assess them, here's what you find, right? This would be a great person to start with nasal cannula on. See the nasal cannula and get them back above 94 into that place. And then of course, there's more to do with this patient, but this is the auction step.